In mid-April, Taiwanese human rights activist Li Mingzhe returned home after being detained in China for over five years. After undergoing COVID quarantine, he called a press conference alongside his wife Li Jingyu to talk about his experiences. Li disappeared in March 2017 when he entered China from Macau. In September of that year, a show trial was arranged for him at which he pleaded guilty to charges of subverting state power. His wife and associates claimed that the confession was forced. At the press conference, the couple thanked the former chairman of Taiwan's Democratic Progressive Party, Su Mingde, and his wife for their help and guidance which led to Li's release. Li said that without Shi's help, he would not be able to tell his story. He said Chairman Shi found a way to prioritize the jailed activist's life and safety without compromising Taiwan's sovereignty. Li said that Chinese authorities were trying to frame him as a spy, but he never admitted guilt on that charge. Li also said he and his wife have no political ambitions and wish only to return to their old jobs and keep caring for and supporting each other. Holding back tears, Li Jingyu said that was her last press conference and she was happy about it. She also shared the principles upon which she fought for Li's release, formulated by DPP's former chairman Shi, in hopes that they might be of help to future international humanitarian efforts. These include not begging the persecutors for mercy, upholding national sovereignty, protecting the dignity and honor of the persecution victim, and ensuring their safety by making the efforts as public as possible. Tomasz Koper, RTI News.